Namaste. Welcome to this introductory course about yoga. I will be walking with you through this journey that will hopefully help you to understand, learn, and practice yoga holistically. My spiritual name is Kamal. I have graduated as a yoga teacher doing 500 hours yoga teacher training earlier in Italy and later on while living in India, studying at the Akanda Yoga Institute with the Himalayan guru, Yogrishi Bhushketu. I have been practicing yoga for more than 13 years now, and I'm here because I want to share with you all that I have learned during this time. As we will see during this course, the practice of yoga is a comprehensive method that has ancient pre-shamanic roots and it has evolved with humanity to find the best way to answer to all those existential questions of life through the understanding of the self. It all started with the rishis, the seers, those who could see reality for what it was. They spent their entire lives devoting themselves to the search for truth. That same truth is nowadays accessible to all of us through the practice of yoga. There is an interesting aspect about truth, although, and that is that it cannot be explained because it must be experienced by each one of us to be understand profoundly in our consciousness. In fact, one of the most important aspects of yoga is practice. Before engaging in it, we need to learn how to practice properly. This course is designed with theoretical and practical models that will allow you to learn from ancient teachings while putting them into practice. In this tradition, the teaching of the methodology has always been the role of the guru the remover of darkness, the teacher that is a student himself for all his life, that shows you the path towards light. That same light will clear your perception so that you will be able to see the truth that lies inside you. That same truth is already expressed in the meaning of the word yoga, unity. Through discipline, the one who practices will in the end realize the universal truth, and that is that we are all one. This state of knowledge is known as samadhi, blissful consciousness. Of course, before reaching it, there is a long but beautiful path to walk, as we need to bring that unity in ourselves first. Mind, body, and spirit must be consciously connected, and that can be achieved with a practice of yoga that will bring balance to every aspect of the self. With time, you will realize that yoga is a complete lifestyle that will start transforming every molecule in you to bring light into your truth and a joyful connection within the self. There is good and bad news in this. And that is that you are the only one who can do this work for yourself. You are your real, true guru. So it's in your hands and no one else to step into this path, to enter into this path. And I'm here to help you and show you what I have learned during these years so you can use those same tools in your own journey. Before we begin, there is a last thing that I would like to share with you. And that is that this is a highly rewarding path. The state of well-being that you can reach through practice is unimaginable. The changes that it will slowly bring into your life are so good that you will probably want to keep practicing bringing that light into the self. But I won't lie to you. This path can also become difficult at times because it leads you to take responsibility for the self. You will reprogram patterns and schemes from these and your past lives, things that you need to go through to evolve, but that you might be stuck in with your subconscious mind and in your cellular memory, parts of you that 
possibly stay them resolved for a long time. Therefore, opening that space can bring discomfort. You need to be ready for that and embrace the emotions that might arise. Accept that they are part of your healing journey. Because healing is not about feeling good and happy all the time. Healing is about clearing painful things that might be stored inside you. You will be working on them through your practice. This is one of the effects of yoga. It will bring light into your darkness. Keep in mind that anyway, in the long term, it will be more painful to choose to don't seek further, to don't seek for that truth, and to don't connect with your higher self because you will be facing these things. But with the practice of yoga, you will have tools to face them. This is what you came here to do, to reveal your divine purpose and nature. My role is merely facilitating your process so that you can find your own answers to your own questions. And I'm sure that you will. With your terms and your times, you don't need to rush it. This is a path without shortcuts that needs to be taken without expectations and with a ease of mind, step by step. For this reason, this course is designed to be self-paced. You can also decide to skip certain parts that you might not be interested in right now, but I strongly recommend you that you follow the order that I have established because that is the original sequencing of the yogic path. Besides, you will be able to go back to any part of it wherever you like so that you can create your own journey. In addition, in each section, you will find attached extra materials such as workbooks for the self, audio, videos, and recommended books and movies that will help you enhance your state of consciousness. I also invite you to join me on Zoom as every day I hold live online yoga classes in English, Spanish, and Italian. You are included in your subscription, so you are very welcome to come practice wherever you feel like it. I hope that wherever you are, you will enjoy this course. And I truly wish from the depth of my heart that it will bring you what you're looking for right now. And most importantly, what you truly need. I'm honored to be here on this path with you. Thank you for your openness to learn. Thank you for being here to practice. And thank you especially for awakening your courage to walk through the path of self-healing. See you in the course.